So I got some cold brew uh, products for my son. He likes cold brew coffee. So we got some Pete's coffee beans. I've got my grinder out and I've got the new cold brew pitcher I bought. Now we're going to take the beans and grind them up. I need nine ounces of rough ground bean. So I'm just doing it in small sections so that I can be assured that I'm not grinding too much. Pro tip, make sure you plug back in your grinder after you empty it. I always unplug it because you just never know. Okay, I've got nine ounces of rough ground, coarse ground coffee bean. Now we're ready for the next step. I'm going to dump my coffee grind into the cold brew pitcher. Now I'm going to dump in four and a quarter cups of water. Now it's time to stir the grind into the water and I'm using a plastic spoon as you do not want any residual flavor changes due to using metal, nor do you want to hurt your cold brew pot. So I'm using plastic. Now it's time to put the lid on it and place it in the fridge for 24 hours to steep. 24 hours later. Okay, so now we've got the plunger in. It has sat in the fridge for 24 hours. Plunger's all the way down. Now we're using a strainer on the top just in case grind got past the plunger. So we've got all the coffee out into a separate container. Now I need to get the grind down of the pot. I'm going to use a wooden spoon for that instead of a metal one because we don't want to hurt the pot. Now it's time to wash everything that we used to get this coffee deal done. Now my son had a little bit of his cold brew, but this is what we have left for him. And he'll add about three ounces of cold brew to his cup and a little bit of creamer, a little bit of milk, and he'll be good.